All right, um, so on 6, so again, under the same idea, here to here is pi, right? So if we're talking about something in terms of 6, which I'm doing 13 pi over 6, I can break up pi into six parts, equal parts. Now the nice thing about the y-axis here is we actually can use it, right? You just take thirds and divide those into two, and you're good to go. Agreed? So now we can go ahead and count. Now again, like I just kind of showed, counting to 13 might not be the best use of your time, right? One, I mean, because this is 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6. So again, what is an easier way to understand? We know that all the way around the circle is 2 pi, but it's also equal to 12 pi over 6. So therefore, I can rewrite 13 pi over 6 is equal to 12 pi over 6 plus pi over 6. And 12 pi over 6 is a revolution. It just takes me back to where I was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph 12 pi over 6. That was easy. That was fast. And then I'm just going to do an extra pi over 6, which is that little sliver right there. Isn't that a lot faster and easier than doing this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right? But again, if you need to break it up and count, then please, for this chapter, please go ahead and do that. All right? But my goal is for you guys to eventually be able to move away from that and not have to rely on that. So I know we're kind of uh, 